You're watching Game Show Network. It's The Price is Right against the young and the restless on Family Feud. And here's the star of Family Feud, Ray Cohn. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Hello to The Price is Right. Hi, welcome to The Young and the Restless. Thank you. Settle down because, and welcome to Family Feud. Now, all the Feud fans, this is the feud you've been asking for. It's back. This is very special for one reason. We have two of the winningest teams to ever compete in our celebrity tournaments. Right here is the Young and the Restless. When we had the battle of the daytime soaps, they crushed and annihilated any team they ever faced. Until we had the battle of daytime shows and they faced the price is right and they never won again. These are the kings and today these two great teams will battle it out so that one of them may win up to $20,000 for their great charity. Let's start by playing the bullseye game. Bring it in. Watch out, Robert. Come on over here, guys. Before, before we... Before we play this bullseye game. I wanted to mention the fact that there's going to be a nighttime Price is Right. Did you know that? Well, first of all, let me say before we start this, I am standing here next to one of the greatest, my idol, Bob Barker, the greatest game show host. I mean, I can't believe I'm standing here. Now, 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 do you hear what he just said? Before we started, you announced that there's going to be a nighttime, a nighttime price. Is and, right. and are you hosting it? No, I can't work day and night, night and day, day and night, week after week. I, I can't. Did they talk with you about it? I'll do it. I'm free at night. Did they talk with you about it? <laughs> no, they didn't. But do you do you know? Do you have any idea who they ended up with as the host of the nighttime Price is Right? Yeah. Who who could possibly measure? Right there, Doug, Doug Davidson, Davidson is going to be. Yeah. Right there. That's amazing. He is going to do it. Doug, congratulations. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. Good luck. And you should you all go buy a lottery ticket after the show because you're very lucky to get that job. <laughs> I wish him a lot of luck on the nighttime prices, right? A lot more luck than he has here today. <laughs> now that the love fest is over, it's time to get busy. I could force you to give me an answer, and your team would slap you in the head. With $5,000 in the bank of both teams, we pick up this pace. We will now play the bullseye game. The number one answer to this question will add $1,000 to your team's bank. We'll find out your charities in a moment, but listen carefully. We ask 100 people this multiple choice question. Who would a young boy be proudest to have as his father? Michael Jordan, Arnold Schwarzenegger, or the President of the United States? Doug, we'll go with Michael Jordan. Did Michael Jordan add $1,000 to your bank? Hey! It's all right, put your hand, here it comes. Two more players, Chess, Janice. Right. This question is worth $2,000. Are you guys getting the feeling that they want me bad? I, I feel. <laughs> Thing, Could just be me. <laughs> Quickest hand, the number one answer adds $2,000. Name a kind of place where people sing the national anthem. Jess? Ball game. Ball, ball game? Is it the bullseye? Right on target. Oh, my. Here, $8,000. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, please. I sit up top, we've got to go. Thank you so much. Now, now I see what they're screaming for, Scott. Let me just point out to all the folks watching at home as we go for $3,000, this Emmy award-winning sex symbol that many millions of women adore, I'm taller than him. I am taller than him. Past or present? Name a famous person who disappeared for $3,000, Holly. 
Amelia Earhart. Is Amelia Earhart number one? Bullseye! That took his team $8,000 for the price is right. Hello, Kathleen. Lola Lee. $4,000 for this question. Name something that might make a lawyer not want to take a case. He thinks his client is guilty. Oh, that stops a lot of lawyers. He thinks his client could be guilty. Yes, bullseye. $12,000 going to the bank of the Price is Right. Rod Roddy against John. Ladies and gentlemen, this is for $5,000. Let me just say the trouble is not in your set, Rod. This is his coat. Just enjoy. We ask 100 people this question. Name a holiday that men usually celebrate by watching a game. John, New Year's. Is New Year's going to add five grand? Bullseye in this right on target. We have $13,000 into the bank of the young and the restless. The price is right, $12,000. We're coming right back to play the feud. You see, you gotta win the feud to play fast money. Stay tuned, daytime feud coming right up. found a better way to whiten my teeth. Plus White Ultra. Their special soft foam mouth tray makes the peroxide whitening gel work faster and better for perfect results. Plus White Ultra. Want to go curly? Get Wash and Curl. The shampoo with curl enhancers that work right in the shower. Thousands and thousands of women have gone curly with Wash and Curl. The curling shampoo. Ashamed of your nails because they break and won't grow? Get Nutrinail, the hydrating formula that ends brittleness. They're beautiful. Nutrinail. Nails grow. Guaranteed. Hi, I'm Jim Palmer for The Money Store. Does it seem like the weekend is the only time to take care of personal business? The problem is, is that when you're off, just about everyone else is too. But not at The Money Store. If you're thinking about refinancing your home, you can call The Money Store this weekend and apply by phone. There's no application fee, and the chances are you'll have an approval by Tuesday. So if you want to refinance your home, call The Money Store this weekend at 1-800-LOAN-YES. That's 1-800-LOAN-YES. Just you and I Just you and I Hi! If you enjoy listening to light country music, then you're going to love this new collection called Southern Comfort. Just listen. But I believe in love Help me make it through tonight Maybe I didn't love you Southern Comfort is filled with 36 mellow country hits performed by the country stars who made them great. Here's more. I love you. I honestly love you. Comfort by phone, call 1 800 949 1771. That's 1 800 949 1771. This moment of tenderness was brought to you by the Newlywed Game, weekdays at 2 on Game Show Network. We're back, and right now, we want to welcome The Price is Right, captained by Bob Barker, ladies and gentlemen, if you've just tuned in. $12,000 built into your bank. You have soundly defeated your opponents on other occasions. The $12,000 that you could be playing for should you win the game um, would be donated to a great charity. I tell everybody what that charity is. United Activists for Animal Rights. This is the group that has done so much to expose cruelty to animals in the production of motion pictures. And Nancy Burnett, the founder and director, is right here on the front row. We thank you for bringing her. We wish you much luck. I think we know your teammates. We saw them right up front. Everyone, is, everyone recognizes them. And we're, we're lean and, well, well most of us are lean and mean. You're mean, that's for sure. How will you do when you face off against the young and the restless? With Doug Davidson as captain. Doug, 
A little bit larger bank of $13,000, but there's a great charity that you would like to play for. We're going to play for the Crescenta Kenyatta YMCA Campership Program for kids who can't afford to go to camp. Great, that happens to be your favorite charity. You know how it works. We all know your famous faces, but can you win what is most important? It's time to play the few. Come on, Bob Barker, Doug Davidson. First team to 300 wins and goes on to fast money. Listen carefully because we ask 100 men this question and the top five answers are on that board. 100 men, tell me something that you have trouble discussing with your mother. Bob. Trouble. <laughs> not, not in time? He was saying trouble. I started. I, I, it's I, Bob Barker. I had, the first word was out of it my mouth. It wasn't Doug Davidson. He, the show's working with him. Okay. I started to say, troubles with your own wife. Troubles with your wife. With your wife. Is that good enough, Judge? Spouse trouble. There it is, but one answer is more popular. Something that you have trouble discussing with your mother. Sex. Sex. Let me see if it's there. Is it one? Pick up the steel bomb. This is it. This is tough. Jess, welcome. Hundred men you have trouble discussing with your mother. Male problems. Male? How do you M spell that? Uh, spell it, yes, thank you. I'm hosting this show, Doug. Okay. Male? You, you could be a woman, too, right? It's the same thing. Uh, it's, un it's up there under one of those two, love, sex. Uh, well, have I blown my turn? Or can you're I getting this where I'm going to have to hold back from saying something. Just give me an answer here. Something that okay. men have trouble discussing with their mothers. Um... Physical male problems. That's okay. Male physical problems. <laughs> One strike. <laughs> Scott? Sports. 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 Is it there or is it a second strike? <laughs> Think of that steal. Laura Lee Bell, the woman that I intended to marry, but she loved another. <laughs> 100 men trouble have trouble discussing with their mother. Um, maybe what their occupation is going to be because their mother doesn't approve? Choosing the occupation they want. <laughs> this bank is in the air. Roddy, Roddy, one answer to help Bob. Oh, I think business. Business. Men have what trouble discussing yeah. business. Medical problems. Medical um, problems? Um, uh, is anything yeah, business? Friends, girlfriends, okay, business problems. Now, you tell them what you really yeah, think for just love, a moment. Love, life, and marriage would be girlfriends. I'm going to call for calm. Now, Bob, you may go with them or on your own. I'm, I'm going to say money problems. That's money. on your own. That first bank will be stolen like that if we see money problems. Bam! That bank goes to the price is right. YNR, men have trouble discussing number four. Raising kids. Like the audience really knew. And number five. Siblings, brothers or sisters. We've got a great few. Don't go away. You'll regret it. See you in a moment. Stay tuned to find out how to get 100 rolls of premium 35mm film for free. Do your family photos come out looking like this or like this? Get the complete picture with the amazing panoramic camera, another great product from As Seen on TV. Never miss a shot again. It's perfect for shooting dramatic, wide-angle shots like landscapes, group photos, vacation scenes, sporting events. Make no mistake, this is not a disposable camera. It's a real camera, outfitted with all the extras, plus a panoramic lens that doubles the width or height of pictures. The panoramic camera is bargain priced at just $19.95 and comes with a one-year money-back guarantee. Best of all, it does not use special film. It uses 35mm film, and if you call in the next 10 minutes, you'll receive 100 rolls of premium 35mm film for free. Don't wait. Supplies are limited. Call now. To order your panoramic camera plus 100 rolls of film free for only $19.95 plus $4.95 delivery, use your credit card and call 1-800-578-7242. The average funeral today now costs over $4,000, but the most Social Security will pay to your survivors, if they qualify, is only $255, leaving your loved ones to pay the balance. If you're age 50 to 80, you can protect your loved ones with Montgomery Ward Life's Mature Life Plan. It pays cash expenses at your family's time of need. It's important to know my wife or kids won't be burdened if anything happens to me. I didn't have to take a physical. 
I didn't even have to answer any health questions. With the Mature Life Plan, you enroll by mail and you cannot be turned down for coverage. I feel good knowing that we're protected by Montgomery Ward Life, a company we know we can trust. Call now and get a free booklet explaining Social Security benefits and free information about the Mature Life Plan. For free information, call 1-800-354-9797. The greatest stars in television history appear on Game Show Network. Good evening, I'm Johnny Carson, and I've got a secret. Let's uh, share your secret with the audience. Uh... Are we going to be very amused by what happened? <laughs> There's a possibility. $60 down, 20 to go, in the market. Is he going to feel contact with something? Not at <laughs> We don't know. Uh, we hope not. <laughs> On panel, it turns out that Johnny Carson is an expert with the bow and the arrow. Well, but not, not, no, no, uh, Gary, not really, not really. I, I bought a bow a couple of weeks. I've been fooling around. <laughs> oh, let's practice. Yeah. Seems to be right through his head, John. One in a thousand times, Gary, it happens, you know. <laughs> See your favorite stars on Game Show Network. We're back. The Price is Right, 83. The Young and the Russell, zero. Let us go with another face-off, Jeff Walton. This point value is doubled. Top five answers on the board. We ask 100 people, which one of the seven dwarves best describes your boss? Janice? Dopey. Dopey, okay, and Bob, it's nice talking to you. Um, let's see. Anything, anything to win. Bob said if it's up there, the price is right. Let me see Dopey. One answer's more popular. Which one of the seven dwarves best describes your boss? Grumpy. Grumpy. There they go, think about steel. Give me one of those seven dwarves that best describes Mr. Bell. Scott? I gotta be careful. Three seconds. No, don't, uh, no, don't be careful. Uh, uh, wait, I know it, I know it. Um, sniffy. Sniffy, all right, Sniffy. Sniffy! sniffy. We'll just give you one strike on that. Laura Lee, there is no Sniffy. Which one of the seven dwarves best... Stop for... There is no Sniffy. Sure, he looks good. Which one of the seven dwarves best describes your boss? Set three seconds. Sleepy. Sleepy! Yes! Come on, John. Come on. Take another one. Um, uh, Three seconds. Uh, 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 sneezy? Yes! Sneezy. That's a good sneezy. One. Let me see. <laughs> sneezy! Think of the steal. Come on, Doug. They're going to steal if you don't know. We're going with Happy, Ray. Let me see Happy! <laughs> You've got the lead if you know, Jess. Which dwarf? I'm thinking of his Doc. Which? Doc. Doc? That's a good Is one. It? Is it a big bank with Doc? Uh-huh. 196 to 183 to go with another face-off. Right now, this will decide which team will win. Point value is tripled. Listen carefully, because I'm going to pick up the pace to get the fast money. Either team can win. Top four answers there. We ask 100 people, what's the most important thing that you carry in your wallet? Scott Reed. Money. Is money there? One answer is more important. The most important thing you carry in your wallet. ID. ID? Is it number one? No. Think of the steal. Quickly, Laura Lee. I will say a credit card. Credit cards. One more answer. You have won this game. Medical information, insurance, and your insurance card. One strike. Oh, Thank Ray, you. Ray, I have one. Give it to Please you. have one. And it's my turn. For the game. I have a question for you. Yes. Is driver's license the same as ID? No. Driver's license. Yes. If it is there, you have defeated the price is right for the first time. Driver's license. Bam! The young Marissa have won this game on the Woods of Doug Davidson. Money. Who's gonna play for that 13,000? Let's go. John, are you all staying? 
Lorelei with me. The Casita La Cañada YMCA could be $13,000 wealthy because of the YNR. Don't go away. You've spent your entire life sleeping in an old-fashioned flat bed. But now you have the opportunity to find out about a better, healthier way to relax and sleep. Get this free information kit about Craftmatic adjustable beds. Call toll-free and a help... Call this number now for a free Lens Express catalog. We are going for $13,000 with the young and the restless. The 15 seconds on that clock for the Grisenta Cañada YMCA. Good luck, Laura Lee Bell. We ask 100 people these five questions. Tell me an occupation in which people get lots of mail. Uh, an actor. Something that might peel off. Peel off? Yes. Uh, your skin. What is the most romantic gift of all? A diamond. Something a woman puts on to be sexier. Lingerie. Something people bounce. A ball. Turn around! <laughs> An occupation in which people get lots of mail, you chose... Actor. Okay. Survey chose... 44. Ooh, it might peel off, you said. Your skin oh, might peel off. Nice. Survey said... Gross. Yeah. 50. Yeah. The most romantic gift of all. You chose the romantic diamond. <laughs> Survey set. 31. Yeah. A, a woman puts on to be sexier you liked? Lingerie. What did our survey say? Yes, 128. <laughs> People bounce, you said. A ball. Could you possibly? I did it last time. If you, right? if you did this by yourself for $13,000, you dye your hair blonde. I kiss what you. did the survey say? Kiss me! You catch $13,000. Showbiz number one for male. Skin feels off. Flowers are a romantic gift. Perfume makes you sexier. People bounce a ball. She did it by herself. And we're coming right back. I don't think he would have been able to give. Days fun. On the machine that works like an entire gym, but fits anywhere in your home. It's hard to believe that you lost for such a great act, animal activist right group yeah. to, this, to this wonderful charity by a man. When you asked one of the seven dwarfs, he said, Sniffy. Sniffy. <laughs> Sniffy, one of the seven dwarfs. But I want you to know that this is not over. Doug Davidson, the new host of Price is Right, will see if he can defeat his... The, the nighttime Price is Right... And I want you to say one thing. Rod Roddy in this coat holding this board game is the flag of Uruguay. That is what he is. Let me tell you quickly so you don't write me this. Showbiz was the number one answer. You get lots of mail, sunburn peels off, flowers, romantic gift, perfume makes you sexier, all bounces. I'm Ray Combs for The Family Feud. See you next time. Bye-bye. This is Gene Wood speaking for Family Feud. I'm Mark Goodson, television production. Don't go away. It's time for Joe Garishiola and a panel of celebrities and lots of surprises on To Tell the Truth, next here on Game Show Network.